It can be inferred from the passage that the manufacturing and agricultural sectors in the United States following the Second World War differed in which of the following respects. Now, if we look here, it's a little, it's a little tricky answer here. If you look at answer choice A, it says the rate of expansion in each sector. So you may pick this answer, but why is this not actually the case? It says here that the rate of expansion happened in agriculture. It doesn't mention anything about manufacturing. So we can't necessarily say that, oh, because agriculture increased in terms of the sector, therefore manufacturing didn't increase or expand. We don't, we can't infer that. That's too much. All we can say for sure is that agriculture expanded. Now, if you look at answer choice B, it says the percentage of employees in each sector who were men. Here in the passage, if we read the part beginning with, instead the expansion of agriculture and a steady decrease in the number of farm workers. So we can see that men are leaving the agricultural sector. However, if we read on where it says, consequently, the 1950s saw a growing number of women engaged in farm labor. You see that? What? Men are going down in the agricultural sector, we'll call this big agricultural sector, and women are going up. So what can we infer in terms of how they differ? So looking at B again, the percentage of employees in each sector who were men. So if the men are going down in agriculture, here's manufacturing, manufacturing sector. We can infer that, okay, the men are leaving here and there's an increase of men here. So again, they differ, these two sectors differ in the percent of men. So the answer is B.